So hi, Micropuntry here. So you just got your first microscope, you unpacked it and now you have problems seeing some of the things that you want to look at using um, your microscope and uh, this is the video for you then because I'm going to give you a very quick intro because I've uh, received again a few emails where people um, desperately were trying to ask, uh, were asking for help because they couldn't see anything um, and they were already worried that the microscope's broken. I want to uh, simply say most likely not um, and so this is uh, basically the video for you. So before we uh, actually get started uh, for the first slide that you want to look at choose the right slide otherwise it's getting difficult and I just want to show you um, the two slides here and uh, if you look carefully then you can see that in one slide this one here for example um, you can see the specimen quite well so you can see it with your unaided eye and a second slide here that we're going to look that uh, we have here is, is uh, it's very difficult to see the specimen. It's important uh, for the first slide that you choose a slide where you can see the specimen clearly with your unaided eye okay so that's really makes life so much easier if you don't have a specimen like this then I highly recommend that you make your own slide and you simply use some tissue paper and you tear off a piece of tissue paper like this and then you try to make a slide using this tissue paper using a drop of water and then you put the cover glass on top don't use scissors just tear it because you want to see the fuzzy fibers under the microscope okay so this is also gonna work as a first specimen and once you've done that uh, then uh, you basically have to uh, make sure that you uh, get everything properly set up okay and uh, before we actually start turning on the microscope we have a short checklist the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the four times magnifying um, objective that's the low power objective in many cases it's also the smallest objective and sometimes there's a red ring it's a color coded with a red ring and move this into position make sure it's locked in okay um, some people um, do not see anything is because they don't fully rotate it into position um, and it's just uh, off a few uh, yeah, um, millimeters then you're not going to see anything okay so make sure it's rotated into position and locked and then what you do is the following you make sure that uh, the stage using the focus you okay that it's uh, moved all the way to the top and it should not contact uh, the stage okay so there is a, a few se uh, centimeters of, of, of a gap and that's fine and you also make sure that if your microscope has a condenser that the condenser is raised okay it has to be all the way at the top and I've uh, got here a condenser right now I've uh, taken it out from another microscope simply to show you <coughs> how, it, how it looks like so this is uh, the condenser and the slide will be um, on top here okay and if you look carefully then there is a lever here okay that you can move uh, left and right and what this does is it opens and closes uh, the condenser aperture diaphragm and what you want to do is, is you want to make sure that it's completely closed okay so that there is very little light going through and this little light uh, it might be seen as a disadvantage but at the same time you can always increase the light intensity again by turning up uh, either the, 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 the knob or the slider um, for getting more light but by closing it you have the advantage that it's much easier to focus because you have a larger depth of field and the contrast is higher um, and uh, depending um, on the type of condenser you have to either move it to the left or to the right okay um, but uh, you will see this under the microscope by moving it into the direction where it's the darkest okay that's the important thing so that is one thing that you got to check so uh, close it and uh, some condensers or actually many of them have uh, depending on the make a, a, a filter holder okay so this one is, is one that can be pushed on here like this but many microscopes what they have is, is they have a swing out filter holder and then there is a hinge there and then there can be the problem that if it's not right over the uh, position properly then it's offset like this and then the the edge of the filter uh, blocks the light okay so sometimes this is also one of the reasons why people don't see anything is it because the, the the filter position is not correct okay in this case you it's there's not a problem anyway but sometimes there is a swing out filter holder okay so just check this as well okay so moved all the way to the top closed filter um, in correct position and then what you do is is slide of course has to go in okay slide goes in and um, also you have to center the slide okay so this means that uh, you just look at it and you make sure that you're not off uh, somewhere on the side but uh, you make sure that uh, it's all centered and then you can turn on the light okay you turn on the light you turn up the light intensity and you look through the eyepieces and then you do the following and then you simply use the coarse focus knob and you rotate it down until you see a sharp image you can recenter 
and you can switch to the next higher magnification. You only use the fine focus knob then to focus. You can recenter again, you switch to the next higher magnification. You only use the fine focus, you recenter again. You can increase the light intensity because it's getting darker the more you uh, increase the magnification. You can also try to open and close the condenser again to see how this changes the image quality. Remember by moving the lever back and forth, okay? And only when everything is in focus, only then you move to the next higher magnification. What I've seen some people do, some beginners do, what they're, uh, they're kind of worried because the distance between the objective and the slide is so narrow. So what they're doing is, is they, everything is in focus, okay? And then they lower the stage again, and then they move it in, and then try to raise it. That's totally, totally wrong, okay? And the reason why they're lowering the stage is, is because they're kind of afraid that the next objective is gonna crash into the slide. This is not gonna happen if it's in focus. Okay, the objectives that have been designed to be part focal, this means if it is in focus with one objective, then it's also in focus with the other objectives. Okay, so do not change the position um, of the stage, do not refocus before, uh, yeah, uh, or unfocus before you change. Okay, so that, that's something you shouldn't do. Okay, so um, and if what happens if you now um, are at a higher, so I go back, what happens if you're now at a higher magnification? Okay, and uh, you're at the higher magnification, everything is now in focus, and for whatever reason, um, you lose the focus, okay? Um, you accidentally make a mistake and it's completely blurry, okay? And you don't know into which direction to turn. So what some people do is they keep on turning to find focus, and they try to find it, and if they don't find it, then they turn into the other direction, and they can't find it again, no. If you lose the focus at a higher magnification, you start again with a four times a low power objective. You're going to be so much faster this way, okay? So, and if this basically, uh, yeah, um, this should be it. Now, if uh, you have a so-called 100 times oil immersion objective, and you know that you have one, if there is the word oil written on it, you know what, don't use it. Okay, wait until you're a little bit more experienced because what you have, you need so-called immersion oil and the immersion oil has to be placed on top of the slide and then the objective is rotated into the immersion oil. So this means the front, the bottom part of the objective will be covered with oil, okay? Um, this is important so that there's no air between the slide and the objective. And however, what many people are gonna be doing, okay, they try that out and then they try to change the magnification again to a non-oil objective and then the, the non-oil objective becomes covered in oil as well. Well, and then you have a cleaning job to do, okay? Then you have to unscrew the um, objectives, you have to then use a cleaning uh, solvent, the correct one, which you're probably not gonna have, and, and then you have to use a lens tissue paper and you have to clean everything off because a non-oil objective should not get in contact with immersion oil, but it happens all the time. Okay, because uh, especially beginners, not even beginners, also more experienced microscopists, including myself, okay, we've all done this already, okay, um, because the distance is so small, okay, that uh, you tend to forget that there is immersion oil on it and you rotate the other objective into place and you've already uh, got immersion oil on the objective, okay. Don't, so my advice is until you're more experienced, don't use the oil immersion objective. And the second thing is, is you got your nice slides covered in oil and the oil is gonna spread and it's gonna go on the label and it's gonna make mess up the label as well, okay? And it's gonna be difficult also to clean the slides, okay? So my advice is, is uh, beginners don't use the oil immersion objective and also do not use it without immersion oil because it's gonna be very blurry. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to find the focus and you're gonna turn it and then you really end up crashing also the objective into the slide, okay? so. Don't touch the oil immersion objective. I hope that this kind of gave you a little bit a short insight into what to do um, and uh, take it with patience. Um, chances are pretty good. If you don't see a picture, the microscope is not damaged in most cases. Um, but it most likely is a, is a question of whether you have got the right specimen um, and also whether everything is in focus. No, I'm not finished yet. Okay, I'm gonna add something here because this can also happen. When you focus, there are actually three places that you can focus this one on. Some people, they focus on the very top of the cover glass, okay? There's dust there, but that's not the specimen. Some people focus on the bottom of the slide. There's also dust and dirt there, but that's also not the specimen, of course. You have to focus right into the specimen, okay? And you know what's even worse? Um, it's possible, because this is so close together, that some, uh, it's also possible to focus on the dust which is on the condenser. 
Okay, um, so for this reason, you gotta make sure that uh, before you actually um, change the um, objective, the magnification, you have to make sure that you're actually looking at the specimen and you know that you're looking at the specimen um, uh, uh, and you know that you have, have you look at the right thing because you can also see it with your eye, so you know about how the, about the color that you can expect. And also when you move the stage, uh, the slide um, on the stage, then you can also see the specimen move, okay? So that's also one of the things that helps you to identify the correct uh, thing to focus but now I'm finished. Wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. Wish you good luck with your new microscope. And if you have any problems, please do leave a comment um, and uh, I'll try to answer it in the comments. Um, and another thing is, is please do subscribe to the channel. Support, it, support the channel a little bit and there are many interesting videos. I do also have a second channel that I would like to ask you. Please visit this if you're interested in um, the second channel. is I'll do a lot of nature observation. I'll put stuff under the microscope and simply have a look at the stuff that you can see under the microscope. This is the channel that's more a little bit directed towards giving help and uh, giving tutorials. Um, all of the links can be found of course in the description. Which wish you all the best. Happy micro hunting. Now I'm now I'm now I can finish. Okay, all the best. See you again next time.